Hello everybody, welcome to What's New at Fabric Mart. I'm Julie the Fabric Buyer and I'm here to share with you some of the new fabrics that we've gotten in this week. We have so many new fabrics, so many different types of fabrics and everything that I feel like I could do a half an hour video. But I'm going to focus on one style today and then uh, we'll see some of our other new fabrics maybe later in the week or um, at least next Wednesday I'll share some more um, with you. But today's video is going to be all about some new linen plaids and prints that we got in. Linen is probably one of our most popular categories and we have an awesome relationship with a supplier who tacks on to um, other people's orders to uh, get smaller quantities of closeouts and then we get those leftovers so that we can offer beautiful linen fabrics to you and at a dis more discounted price. And speaking of discounts, today is Wacky Wednesday on our website. You can save 60% off all regularly priced fabrics, plus you get dollar shipping. How awesome is that? The dollar shipping doesn't come around too often, so this is a sale you might want to jump on. Um, so let's just look at these fabrics and get you a little more inspired. I'll share some patterns with you that go very well with some of these linens. So here's our first group. This is um, a beautiful printed linen. It's 100% linen and it has little um, uh, fruits on it. This would be super cute for um, kitchen curtains, um, also an apron, just something very vintage even, like a vintage dress. Um, all of the linens that we have here are more of like a shirt weight, but you could use them for dresses and skirts. You just have to uh, line them because some of them are, are a little more um, see-through than others. This one I particularly like. I feel like I want to use this for some curtains in my kitchen because I have some purple um, plum granite and I think that this would look really nice with that. And this is a wide pinstripe on a uh, white background. So it's like a purpley lilac color. Here we have a really pretty corally color plaid um, just a really nice really bright cheerful color and what you will see with a lot of the fabrics that I chose today they're kind of more on the citrusy side so the yellows and oranges but we do have other colors of course I just ended up picking all of the citrusy ones because I needed something bright and cheerful here's another plaid yellow and tan and white and they have really nice hand and drape and they get softer as you wash them. Here's the oddball of my, the group of fabrics that I chose today. This is 100% linen, but it's a cross dyed, almost like a denim look, but it's blue and black together. Usually we see the cross dyed, like the chambray look where it's blue and white. But that's really pretty. You can see a little bit that it's a little bit see-through over here. So it's definitely a translucent um, fabric and you'd want to make sure that you line it or wear a camisole or slip underneath depending on what you're making. These are really beautiful fabrics. They just have a nice crisp hand and with washing they get so much even softer than what they are. They, I mean they're not so crisp that they're hard, you know, very hard. Now this one here might not show up very well on the, the camera it's kind of washed out, but this is a peachy color and it has cross-dyed uh, windowpane plaid. It kind of almost disappears in some of the areas where it's like yellow here. It disappears slightly from far away because the uh, yellow sort of recedes, but this is gorgeous. Then here's another um, like a light coral pink with a beautiful magenta plaid and white and um, also a little bit of like a sea foam green. Just let you get to see the drape and feel here. These definitely have spring vibes to them. This one's all about like the citrus, the yellows and the corally red and the tan and a little bit of orange. I love this one. Nice drape. And then the last one I'm going to share is this pinstripe. The pinstripe is about a half an inch apart. 
very classic. It's a charcoal gray stripe. All right, so of course you know I need to give you some pattern inspiration, and we have such a great collection of indie pattern designer patterns in stock. You can see behind me, we have them in cases and baskets. So here's a couple that I picked out that go well with these linens. This is the So Liberated Estuary skirt. It's a nice full skirt. This is the Lichen Duster from So Liberated. Um, here is True Bias uh, Patterns Emerson Pant or Short. So you can choose whichever view that you would prefer. And it actually has a, it's a pull-on pant that has an elasticized back. So that makes it really um, nice and fitting. Um, and it has a flat front, which is always a, a nice thing. And then some pleats at the, um, below the waist. This one's a personal favorite. I've had this on my list for a long time. I, I've not had a chance to make it, but it's the Soho 7 Burnside bib overalls. Uh, this is a really fun pattern, and I see, I've seen a lot of renditions of it on um, social media. And then here we have the olive dress or blouse from Megan Nielsen Patterns. It's just a really fun, casual or dressy dress. And then last we have Pamela's Patterns Favorite Bias Skirt. We just finished up uh, a class using this pattern where we actually took bias tape, we made bias tape out of the linen and then sewed it onto fabric, on, onto the same linen fabric, and then washed it to make it really fringy. And so we made the, a fringy bias skirt, so we used this pattern and then made a uh, bias skirt with um, some fun striped fringe on it. And I saw a couple of them and they turned out great. So. I hope this was inspiring for you. Uh, don't forget about our 60% off site-wide sale and dollar shipping for Wacky Wednesday. Um, I hope you have a great week and uh, I have lots of new arrivals. So keep clicking that new arrival and refreshing on our website. Uh, you never know what might pop up. Have a great day.